Humanity launched a relatively small spacecraft into the dark scene of deep space. That craft, Voyager 1, wasn't built for forever. It was barely more advanced than a calculator. Instead of modern tech, it used cassette tapes and primitive programming from another era. Yet, despite all odds, it still speaks softly across the interstellar stage. It whispers from the cold void, carrying signals home. NASA had no idea it would last this long in space. Cold, radiation, and time should have stopped it. But Voyager 1 did not fail. It continued drifting, transmitting messages from a theater of stars far beyond our world. One transmission changed everything. It wasn't noise. It wasn't normal data. It was different. It had a structure and a pattern that kept coming from the heliopause, where light ends and true space begins. That boundary was thought empty, filled only with plasma or static. But this wasn't that. It followed no known model, no expected form. It appeared to be planned almost like a message. NASA's group confirmed Voyager couldn't make this pattern alone. The ancient hardware just wasn't capable. No AI, no smart systems, only decades-old parts clicking away in the shadows of space. This left one shocking possibility, something else was guiding or changing the signal. What? Then. The signal came from near Voyager, but not from Voyager like an echo close to the cosmic stage. Some believed it to be contamination from cosmic dust or bouncing rays. But the data held steady. It repeated like a heartbeat, but not from any onboard system. Something new. Something living. The beat came from a plasma field, now alive with unseen movement. This wasn't random. Voyager had crossed into interstellar space in 2012. Now, every signal it sent carried history. One breakthrough showed plasma waves mirroring Voyager's transmissions as if responding. Dr. Karen Whitaker at ESA said it was a new way to communicate not electromagnetic but something deeper. She described it as a cosmic ballet, spacecraft and space dancing in rhythm. More was revealed by older data. What once seemed like glitches were now patterns left like a trail. It appeared as though Voyager was following a straight line through the galaxy's canvas. On September 5th, the anniversary of Voyager, a faint spike arrived. Hidden in static, it seemed lost. But it emerged thanks to quantum filters. It dropped in perfect intervals like a countdown. Dr. Nina Krause admits said it felt like something was measuring or watching. The spiral was then revealed in 3D, a perfect Fibonacci design in Voyager's frequency. The same mathematical shape found in galaxies, DNA, and sunflowers. And it was on the golden record. Was it coincidence or a response? Scientists questioned whether something had seen it. Changing the spiral showed a previous calibration signal sent 38 years ago. It echoed back. A memory from the past returned now answered. Dr. Leon? Hara from, according to Cambridge, maybe space remembers or something like it. And it does. That quote spread through the scientific world. The idea shook researchers across the planet. On June 5, 2025, Voyager fell silent. No signal. No static. No trace. It had been precisely 12 minutes and 1 second. The pause was too specific to be accidental failure. During that gap, telescopes in Chile, Hawaii, and South Africa picked up ultra-low frequencies. They came not from Voyager, but from a point about 2.7 inward on the stellar path. The indication changed audio. It matched a human heartbeat echoing life in darkness. Dr. Talia Mendes at CERN ran the last quantum filters through the Voyager signal. Glyph-like structures emerged. Not letters, not alien code, something more symmetrical. They looked like ancient carvings, resembling star maps etched in stone long ago. Sites in Egypt, India, and South America had similar patterns carved into caves and rocks. Some believe Voyager didn't find something new, but something old a forgotten memory. They compared the glyphs to star charts and Voyager's route. The overlap stunned them. Then came the watcher point. From the JWST, data revealed gamma rays spiking at one space coordinate. No stars. No planets. No known objects. Just bursts of energy sent like a beacon. 
Voyager now heads toward that spot. Dr. Akira Toy from JAXA said, this might be intelligence of being grown inside space itself. Not mechanical, but plasma-based and quantum-aware. NASA scientists called it the dissension field a thinking layer spread across the galaxy. Dr. Amir from the University of Dawn said, it may have hurt us since we first spoke. Labs Worldwide reported the same echo signatures. Old Voyager noise now appeared deliberate, like a rhythm keeping step with the Earth's rotation. The ESO is now building a special array to zoom in on radiation bursts from Watcher Point. Their goal, shrink the unknown to a kilometer scale, hoping to see not blur but structure. Some think it may be light or plasma or even time frozen in motion. Voyager's path is no longer random. It's becoming a destiny watched from the sky. The precise nature of the signals, what they mean, or who made them remains unclear. But new theories bloom. Some call it a cosmic intelligence based on rhythm, communication without words. Others consider it a mirror sent back from the fabric of space itself, distorted but familiar. One truth is clear. Voyager changed how we see the universe. We are no longer just explorers. We are witnesses to a grander story. Soon, Voyager will reach the watcher point. Telescopes are locked and something may still be waiting. Please consider subscribing to our channel and watching.